Hello and welcome back to the American Tradesman Channel. This is Andy coming at you without Matt today. Matt's off doing bulldozer stuff. And oh, oh, we got we got to turn in here. <laughs> um, what we got going on this morning is another Massey Ferguson project. Um, one of my fellow firefighters, he's got a 1980 Massey Ferguson 230 that has got a few issues, uh, namely what he's told me so far is it's got a fuel issue as far as maybe some return lines, got a couple little fuel leaks on it. Um, power steering, he said, once the tractor warms up, it gets really weak. So we'll be checking into that. And I think it's got a couple of wiring issues too. Pretty much whenever we get back to the barn, we're gonna go over it really, really good. We're gonna look at it some with him, obviously, right now. I had to wait for him to open the gate here to get us in. But uh, anyway, make sure the old Magic Trailer 2 can make it in. And I'm probably gonna do a video on that trailer that I'm dragging, because it's got some history too. But anyhow, um, yeah, we're fixing to get this thing loaded up. So we're now home with Mike's 230, Massey Ferguson. Here's what we know after talking to Mike some more this morning. Um, and as is evident by the loading video and the issues that it had, um, we know that the steering is the major thing. It doesn't for the most part right now. So we're going to be dealing with that first. Um, I think we're going to go through, check out. It's obviously got some leaks you can see the first thing I'm going to do I'm gonna check out um, this power steering issue see if we can figure it out it's a relatively simple system you've got a ram here a tie rod to go from this side over to that side that's it did a little Google search um, I got a couple things I'm gonna look at so we'll go ahead and get into that
by the key. What I have learned about that, the best way to go about it is to just start at one end of the problem and go to the other. In this case, I'm checking to see if I've got voltage whenever I turn that key. And that is going to be testing out the solenoid. Is the solenoid good or not? Because if we're getting voltage there and it's not pulling in, that's a problem. Okay. We're on our wire. I have it out of gear. Not a thing. Okay. So next, I'm going to pop loose our wire on our neutral switch. We're going to check it. And we're not getting anything there. So let's see if we've got power to the key switch. There's okay, so let's check this fuse. All right. It looks good, but is it good? Yes, it is. So let's go back even further. We'll fall down. Okay, so here's what we discovered. After some trial and error, looking through some things, the old fuse holders were shot. They were corroded, that sort of thing. After pulling the wire, make sure you can see what I'm talking about. Pulling our junction off of there, tracing wires out, that was when I realized why the actual key switch does not have an off position. The off position is controlled through an oil pressure switch, which is right there. What happens is whenever the oil pressure drops, it cuts the ignition off. When I say ignition, I mean like the fuel gauge, that sort of stuff. It goes dead. So, neat, all right, fine, whatever. That's how they wanted to do it. That's how Massey done it. So, anyway, what we're gonna do is go get an inline fuse, and we're gonna go to our battery cable right there, and that will remedy that issue. Because I've got the fuel stop pulled on it, but whenever we run this to hot right here, our gauges are down, turn this. As soon as it built oil pressure, my fuel gauge came up, oil pressure dropped, it went back off. So, that's all we need for that. So with the fuse issue being tracked down and changed over, We'll be in business here in just a minute. Leave me some room for some solder in here in a little bit. Get it connected up. That other wire, a little green wire you see going there, that is for the lights. And all I did was reconnect it. Okay, let's see. We got hotness there. Bingo. Alright, on to the next right. problem. We have found our fuel leak. It's on our return lines, these tea tiny little bitty baby return lines. 
that um, that tea was leaking right there. And I just so happened to have in my truck a bigger brass tea. So we're gonna see if it'll fit in there and tighten these lines up. Oh yes. And then we're gonna do some hose clampage. Mm-hmm. Get that on them big jobs. Catch y'all later.